Hey guys, it's Ellie from the Lug Life blog. I just wanted to bring you a review on the Lug VL Pacer and also do a video on what's in my bag. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, this is my bag. I have the copper brown in the VL Pacer and the copper brown comes with the leopard brown crossbody strap. And then it also has the copper brown vegan leather strap, short shoulder strap. So in the front, you're going to get the signature cell phone pocket that's soft lined and you don't have to worry about putting your cell phone in there, your sunglasses, your glasses, it won't get scratched. It also has this pull tab right here and then this hidden magnetic closure. I can get a Note 9 in here no problem. I don't have a case on mine but that can give you an idea of what size phone fits in there. And then you step it down here and you have a zipper compartment that does run to the bottom of the bag. So in this compartment, I just keep a couple of wet ones in there. And then below that is another compartment with a flap with a hidden magnetic closure. And then in this part of the bag, I just have some cloth for my glasses and I just keep some lip balm in there. So I turn the bag over and on the back side there's another zipper compartment so this compartment will go to the bottom of the bag as well but this compartment does have a built-in wallet so what that means is you're going to get a clear view id window right here and then three card slots below it that are rfid shielded open it up to the main interior so inside there's a bungee uh, key clip right here i attach my heart pouch and then in the heart pouch i just have my keys I keep some hand cream. I have some Clorox wipes, a clean mask, my Splits XL wallet, and then some prescription sunglasses. So that's about it that I put in that main interior of the bag, not counting the wall organization. So when we get into the back of the bag, there's uh, two elasticized cargo pockets right there. So they're great for just housing small things. So I have a reusable uh, grocery bag. I have my key fob for my car, I have hand sanitizer. I have a anti-fog cloth for my glasses. And then I have some glasses cleaner. Then you have a privacy wall pocket. This is great. I don't have anything in here right now, but I usually will put feminine hygiene products in there because I don't like putting them on the opposite side where if you opened your bag, you could see them in this uh, clear view wall pocket. So on, that, uh, on this side, there's that clear view wall pocket with the zipper. And I just put in some uh, band-aids and then also just some disposable gloves. And then on this other side, there's two pen holders and of course they're lug pens. So I'll just tuck this back in. And then on the side of my bag, I do keep a sanitizer bottle that I just keep clipped to the D-ring. I like having this here so that I can sanitize my hands before getting into my bag. And now we can talk about the things that I do like about the bag. So um, I think Lug did an excellent job at picking this fabrication because it is soft and it is malleable. Even the look of the pebbled leather looks and feels like leather. And I think that's probably why I was drawn to the copper brown because I did want something that did make the bag seem like it looked more like leather. The other thing that I liked was the stud detailing. I, I actually didn't have the pacer or the Pacer 2 in the regular polyester fabrication. It just wasn't my jam, so I wasn't drawn to it. But after buying this, I actually found a deal on Amazon and bought a uh, Pacer 2 in the polyester fabrication, but it came, I didn't like it, I sent it back. So with that being said, that's why I like the stud detailing, I think with this leather look, because I see stud detailing on leather bags, on leather jackets on leather boots and I think that's why I like this stud detailing way more with the leather look. 
The other thing I like uh, that Lug has done with the bag is change their logo. So it uses this cursive script uh, Lug logoing versus their regular logoing like this, where it just says Lug in regular print and it's like thick and kind of bubbly looking. So I like how it looks on this VL Pacer. Some of the things that I do really like if we're just comparing vegan leather bags to an other vegan leather bags is the organization. You're not going to get the same organization in other vegan leather bags, even down to the elasticized rims on these cargo pockets. In other bags, you're going to have full leather trim and then that kind of limits you to the pull or how much you can fit. And then on the back side, you know, how Lug gives you a built-in wallet that has RFID protection. So going on to now what I had concerns about the bag was uh, when this first came, this is actually my second VL Pacer because the first one that came was defective. So uh, one of the problems that it had was the stitching on the side here. So where you can see the stitching when it came, under every stitch loop, the polyurethane had pulled and started peeling. So almost everywhere around the bag was uh, nothing but white. I could see white peeling from where this polyurethane had been uh, glued to. You could see that white material underneath. The other thing was the stitch quality between these two pieces right here. Uh, wasn't that great in the first bag that came. So it wasn't as clean, but it still isn't as clean in the second bag. So there's still parts like right here where this opens up and then you can see the white of the fabric underneath. I, I don't think I would have minded this so much if that part was actually brown, but because it's so visibly white, if this opened up, just from weather or being humid, I don't know if this will curl, that would be a problem. Now, some things to keep in mind is whether the edging on this right here, uh, when it comes to cold weather, whether this edging on the bag strap will crack. And I say that because uh, one of the reasons that I had moved over from full leather or leather bags to lug was because the bags didn't last and they never lasted in cold weather. So I grew up in a city that had super hot summers and super cold winters. And when it came to winter, the edging on a bag or a bag strap like this would just crack once it hit about minus I'd say anywhere from minus 25 to minus 40, it would crack. If you commute and went, you know, took the bus, took the train, took the subway, and you had to walk for a bit in anywhere from minus 25 to minus 40, yeah, you'd have to see whether or not that would crack. Because that did crack on all my other uh, leather and non-leather bags. So it wasn't the leather here, it was the edging that I always had to watch out for that never lasted. The other thing is uh, for heat, whether this will fade. I did have full leather bags that did fade over time because the heat from the sun was just so strong that it, the color just never lasted. So those are some things that I would look out for, but saying that lug does have a really great warranty. If you bought Lug directly from their site, you're gonna have the automatic two-year warranty. If you're buying Lug anywhere from QVC or Amazon, uh, you can always register your product within 30 days of purchasing and you'll get the extended warranty. So if you don't do it within the 30 days, you only get one year. If you do it within 30 days, you'll get the two-year warranty. So I think that's fantastic. Lug has one of the best warranties for a handbag, and they always take care of their customers. So that's something that helps me have peace of mind when I'm buying their vegan leather. And so those are just the things that I like and that I want to go forward and see how the bag will wear. What do you guys think of the bag? Do you guys have the bag? Do you like the bag? Are you thinking of buying the bag? 
let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.